Hey guys, I wanted to make this video. I'm going over uh, some studies right now, and man, this is shocking, really. If we look at, let's open up the Bible. If we look at, if we go to the law, uh, the law of God, uh, Exodus chapter 20, verses 3 through 17. Okay, those are the Ten Commandments, okay? Now, this is just blowing me away, because the more I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about the Father, which we know that God the Father. But you guys, I think Christ is our mother. And not the way we think, though. He, I mean, he's the son of God. He's not female. He's male. The father and the son are both male. Okay, They're not female, like in the way we think. Uh, here on the earth, how we have men and women, and women, they, they have different... You know what I mean? You guys, think about this for a second. Because we know that sin originated in heaven in the mind and heart of Lucifer. We know that all sin came in through him. Okay, he, we know he was jealousy and envy and rage and violence against, against the Son of God. And he was jealous, wanted to, wanted to receive his worship, and he wanted, to be, he wanted to be God. Okay? And he wanted to be just like the Son of God. You guys check this out, the Ten Commandments. He he sinned against these Ten Commandments because all sin is the transgression of God's law. We read that in First John 3, 4. So to sin is to transgress, it's to break this law, the Ten Commandments. Which it's a transcript of God's character, okay? So think about this. Lucifer is in heaven. There would be Ten Commandments in heaven because God's law is eternal. Okay, the angels right now that are up in heaven, they, they live by God's law. Everybody has to obey God's law, okay? So think about this. This law is just not just for us on the earth, okay? And this is blowing, this is blowing my mind because Lucifer is in heaven. When he was in heaven, think about this. He's looking at God's law, and he looks at the sixth commandment. What does it say, you guys? It says, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land, not the earth, upon the land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. You guys, so the angels are looking at this, and they have to honor their father and mother. Well, we know who their father is. God the Father is the father of all. He's the father of everybody, even his son, Jesus Christ. But you guys, who's the mother? I'm telling you right now, Jesus is the mother, you guys. The Son of God is the mother. Honor thy father and mother. That the, that's the father and the son. This is blowing me away because I'm thinking about this. But see, female, the way we think, I don't. I must not have a full understanding of it yet because I'm not saying that that he's that he's female because he's not. He's male. They're, the father and the son are both male. But in, in a sense of what that word is, he's the mother. And let's look at a couple. And I haven't put this together quite yet. I just This just hit me and I wanted to see if anybody else had ever come across this. Let's look at Galatians 4.26. Because we all know that God is the father of all. Okay, Galatians 4.26 says, But Jerusalem, which is above. So Jerusalem that is in heaven, which is above, is free which is the mother of us all. You guys, I believe that's the Son of God. I'm telling you, man. Because think about it. The Father created everything, right? But we know that after He brought forth His Son, that He created all things through His Son. So they both created all things. You guys see what I'm saying? Well, what does a mother and a father do? Think about it from... Our perspective on the earth. A mother and a father come together. They unite in one purpose. And, and they create all children. We all come from Adam and Eve. Okay? Adam would be the father of all the humans. Eve would be the mother. You got... You, you, it's, it's blowing me away the more and more I think about this. I think Christ is the mother of us all. But not in the sense that we're thinking like a female. It's not... He's not a female. But we know the father through, so the father through the mother, 
It's created all things. It make it actually it makes perfect sense the more and more I'm thinking about this. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the son of God is female because he's not. It, it's it's by way of like like a like a type or a typology or the I don't even know how to say it. it it's just something that just hit me. Malachi two ten. Have we not all one father? Has not one God created us? So we know that we have one father. We know that. Uh, let's look at 1 Corinthians 8, 6. It says, But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him. Now notice this, you guys. This would be the role of the mother. Okay? And one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. You guys, that's a mother and a father. Think about that. You talk about Planned Parenthood. <laughs> the father and his son, you guys, have created everything. They had to plan all that out. So think about that. The father, think about it in terms of Adam and Eve. Okay, Adam, of whom all humans on the earth come from Adam. Okay, we are all of Adam. Okay, but... We are all by Eve. She's the one that actually had to bring forth all the children. Okay? So we have a mother and a father. This has blown me away. Uh, I'd love you guys to hit me up with some comments and we can talk about this. Because it's it's quite incredible and I've never had that thought before. Uh, Ephesians 3.9 says that, And to make men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God. Notice this. Who created all things by Jesus Christ. You guys, God the Father created all things, and he did it by his Son, through his Son. You guys, that's a mother and a father. That's a father and a mother. However you want to think about it, that's what it is. Man, that's, wow. In the angels and all of us humans, we are all the children of the, of the father and the mother. Which we know is God the father and his only begotten son, Jesus. And they're both male. It's just like Christ's church on the earth, or God's church, which he gives to his son. Okay, think, think about it this way, you guys. His church on the earth is the bride. And Jesus is the husband, okay? Uh, God the Father would be the... He'd be the father of the husband, right? So, think about it like this. We know that in Jeremiah... Actually, let's read it. It's in Jeremiah... Jeremiah 6, 2. Anyways, it, it likens the daughter of Zion to a delicate woman. And we know that in Bible prophecy, a church is a woman... So God's people, even though I'm a male, if I'm going to be God's people, I am his bride, okay? A bride is a woman, okay? So it's it's by way of type and by way of uh, roles, okay? I'm a male, but yet in a sense, I'm, I'm kind of take on the role of a female because I, I'm going to be the, the bride of Christ. You see what I'm saying? So I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I got to definitely study this out. But I wanted to talk about that because... Oh, and the last one we'll look at is Matthew 23, 37. Notice what Jesus says. He's talking to, to Israel. Literal Israel. He says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent to thee. See, Jerusalem, God kept, kept sending prophets prophet after prophet after prophet even sent him his own son and they just killed everybody they would not listen they they, they were deceived and they, and they didn't they just they didn't want they didn't want to know god's truth so notice this how often would i this is the son of god talking jesus he says how often would i have gathered thy children together notice what he likens this to even as a hen gathers her chickens under her wings and you would not and that's when he tells them that your house is left to you desolate 
the gospel was stripped stripped from Israel and it was given to the Gentiles because they failed that they would not listen they were all deceived so you guys but no but he likens it to the son of God says a hen under her wings he would have got he would have gathered them it, I just I I'm, I just keep seeing a father and a mother, you guys, as the more and more I look at the father and his son. And we know God, I mean, they wear, the father and the son wear many hats. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're, they're not just one, have just one job. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I hope that helped. I'm going to study this more and I'm going to make more videos on that. It just, I was just looking at that and I'm like, well, wait a second, Lucifer, when he would have sinned in heaven, would have looked at the law and saw, honor thy father and thy mother well that has to be the father and the son so i hope that helps you guys i think that the father i think the mother is just think about like like, like a term it's just a term mother it doesn't mean that it's a female because we know that woman was taken out of man well we know that christ the son of god was taken out of the father in eternity past when he was born so in that way he, he would be he would be the mother so anyways yeah that's gonna be it for now so uh hope that helped leave a comment and, and i'd love to talk about this more so all right you guys god bless and we'll see you soon